Hey now, Mike Shaman here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a magic one-click Gravity Forms upsell. So this is something that I've been using on my own website and it's been converting really, really well for me. I just wanna show you what I'm talking about when I refer to a magic one-click upsell. So this is a really neat thing that you can do with Gravity Forms. Here's my uh, course checkout for my products here, WordPress theme templates. And you can see they cost $97, okay, and here's payment method, right? Now you can see there's nothing here, nothing here, but then when you go ahead and start typing your name out, you can see it's still the same, but there's something special about this is that in the email tab, okay, once I put my email address, Mike, at Divi Planet, you can see the one-time offer pops up right here. And I've done some CSS uh, around it just to make it stand out. And she says, yes, I want to add the one-time offer. And then I just say it's $27. And then once they check that, it adds the one-time offer for $27 in the total right there. This is a little bit of magic here on how to make this work. It's been converting really well for me. And I wanted to show you how to make it. So let's jump into the form right now. So I just went and I got a new form. And I'm going to just be um, adding a name field, adding an email field, adding a product field. All right, and then we're going to go to this product field here, and this, this is going to be your main product. Product number one, main product. Okay, and then we're going to take off the uh, quantity field, and just going to be, we'll say $97. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to duplicate this. And then we're gonna change this one to product number two, uh, one-time offer. All right. And then we're gonna go back to add fields. Then let's go to total, because we're gonna have a total down there. And then let's go to add your checkout, whoever your checkout is. So this one I just have PayPal hooked up. And then what we're gonna do is go back up here and go to a checkbox and add a checkbox right beneath total. And this is gonna be called, yes, I want the one time offer. Okay, and we're just gonna go down here to edit choices. We're just gonna do this. And then this is where all your other text would go. So whatever uh, gibberish you want to uh, talk about, that's where that would go. Okay, so once it gets to that part, just go ahead and save your form. Alrighty, so once you have your form saved, you can go ahead and start doing the magic part of it. So what you wanna do is you wanna come down here to this, um, yes, I want the one-time offer, and you're gonna to wanna to click on it and go over here to field settings. If you go down here to conditional logic, go ahead and make that uh, enabled and put show if all the following match. And you go to email is and you drop it down and go to contains and then enter a value since everybody's email has an at symbol on there you can use the at symbol so whenever somebody types the at symbol your one-time offer is going to pop up all right so save that okay and click out and then go over here to the one-time offer or your product number two okay and go ahead, click that and go to field settings and you scroll down to conditional logic and go to enable that and then show if all the following match and you want to go to yes the one time offer is the first choice which is right here okay show if yes the one time offer is first choice and go to say form so now you've made this form it's only taking us a couple seconds here now watch this little sleight of hand that your thing is going to be able to do all right now you're going to need to embed this so you just go to embed and you can go to copy short code. All right, you're gonna put that short code in your web page, which I have it right here. And you can see that this is my um, main product right here. All right, so I put my information in there. And then if you just see that, let's put the at symbol up and the one time offer pops up. And once you click it, it's what it goes to your, um, it adds in your product number two, your one time offer for the total and then the gives you the checkout right here. So 
that is something that you could do um, with gravity forms very easily now if you wanted to um, spice this up a little bit you just go to inspect and then you would add some uh, css right here like a background color and then some padding all right and you just figure out the box that this is all in and then you just do some css to it if you wanted to but that's how it ends up looking like this right here if you like this video go ahead and uh, give me a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching this video. If you got a lot of use of it, I'm sure you're gonna be able to get a lot more use out of my other gravity forms tutorials. So go ahead and check those out, especially the one that goes over everything in the new gravity forms 2.6, 2.5. So go ahead and check those out and I will see you in the next one.